Hello Troy Enthusiasts, my name is James and Tom the Fisherman is back and I wanted to start this episode by first explaining some of the rules because people were a little bit, like they were a little bit confused. So basically this is going to be a fishing run, so I'm only going to be using stuff that I find from crates or that I find from fishing. So for example, if I find a wooden crate, I'm going to use the ore inside of it to make armor, weapons, etc. Right? If I want to do stuff like, I don't know, for example, let's say farm using like farm using an extractor, to do that I would need to get the extractor from one of the crates and use that. There are some weapons that you can actually get from fishing, which are like the obsidian clubberfish or the, no sorry, the clubberfish or like the obsidian swordfish and you would, you would use them for fighting and such. But the point of this is that all of the things that I get, I'm going to get from crates and fishing. And when I was doing my starting chest, you were wondering, why does he take some stuff and bin the other? Well, if I open a chest and I find loads of iron, I'm going to bin it because it's not from a crate. However, I was keeping the potions just because potions are potions. And I also crafted the wooden sword, not because I wanted to cheat, but because trying to play through the game without a single weapon at all. Uh, is awful, so a horrible little wooden sword, it's not really cheating, it was just to avoid basically me just blocking out all the enemies for like 20 minutes. So there you go, there are the rules, so let's begin today's episode. Okay, so in the actual night time, what I've managed to do is i managed to get 24 fireflies, it seems that loads actually spawn around here, and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading to the right, because we're going to try and find an ocean biome, right? Because we need to go to the ocean to go get an angler to then carry on to do some of the quests. And once we have an angler, then what we can do is, if I just get rid of this bait, what we can do is we can start um, actually like fishing for some good stuff. Alright, okay, so let's, uh, let's build loads of platforms over this. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. But yeah, I'm using a slow wooden sword. And that's so that if I did break the rules, it wasn't too bad. Obviously, I'm going to get absolutely murdered. What am I doing outside? I may go back home and uh, wait until the daytime before I start tackling stuff like this. <laughs> okay, so it's now daytime. Now we can venture out. What I need to do is... Oh, penguin. <laughs> I need to start building over these really quickly. Oh, God, I'm being an idiot. All right, okay, let's jump up. All right, I need to do this quick only because I don't want to get killed by the Eater of Worlds. Which I'm probably going to get killed by. Oh, the Eater of Souls. Sorry, I do apologize. Alright, okay. Let's jump up here. Okay, we just need to get through this biome quickly. Because once we do, we can uh, like basically have a, like a really fast route to the uh, dungeon whenever we need one. Or the ocean, sorry. Right, okay. Alright, definitely need to build over this. However, this is a corruption pond. So that would be nice. That's going to be good. Right, we are kind of stuck here until we move, uh, which is not good. Okay, we need to build platforms over here. Right, that should stop him from coming out for a little while. Right, let's try and loop over him. Okay, let's come down here, because once, once we're down here, they can't actually get to us. Uh, and we can actually start taking some of them out. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be a very daunting process, just for a little while, because obviously these guys are quite strong. We don't have great stuff yet, like we don't have any kind of real weapon or any kind of armor. Like, for example, like somebody left a comment saying, um, oh, you should craft pumpkin armor. Like, we won't be crafting, oh, God, we won't be crafting pumpkin armor, because it's like not using stuff from a chest, uh, like a crate, sorry. So yeah. So that's, uh, that's how the rules work for now. I'm sure we can adapt them and change them to kind of like see if it, like see if what we do works out. The point of this playthrough is to kind of just show that like that we're doing a lot of fishing. <laughs> yeah, that's the point. The point is to just kind of like get some fishing done. Right, okay. All right, we should be good now. We're kind of in the clear almost. Once we get past here, and then we should be in the clear. <laughs> okay, got a traveling merchant there. All right, let's jump over here. All right, let's hopefully not get murdered by this thing. 
Uh, got a tiny little pond down here, not really big enough to fish. Oh, there we go, he's stuck. Right, okay, let's go up there. Hup, hup. Okay, we're doing well so far, we've not been killed yet. Ah, there we go, we're in the clear, thank god. We're in the nice biome again. Or actually, we're in the desert biome. <laughs> Which is not actually too bad, I don't feel like I die a lot in the desert biome. The desert biome is not bad at all. But we should be near the end of the world, actually. Right, okay. There's a lot of mud here, though. It makes me feel like we're going into a sun, uh, a jungle biome. But I don't think you can have jungle and an ice biome on the same little strip. I'm pretty sure it's, like, not a thing. Right, okay. Alright, so yeah, I actually managed to get loads and loads of fireflies in the night, which I've said already. But it's good, because we now have lots and lots of bait. I also got some of these stars, and I did mention this last time. But what you can actually do is you can actually make, um, like, enchanted, uh, enchanted night crawlers. And they give you a little bit more bait power. I also apparently got very, very lucky finding all them wooden crates yesterday. Apparently it's a 1 in 100 chance of getting a crate uh, with, a wooden, uh, with a wooden pole. So that was kind of cool. Alright, so like for example, I'm going to go through the rules again just now, right? So this is an accessory that we can get from a crate. So we're not going to use it. Iron bars, we can get that from a crate. Grenades, we're going to throw them away because we can't use them. We could sell them, but that's not what the plan is, if you get me. And we're going to keep the potions just because potions are cool. Alright, if that sums everything up, good. Alright, let's do this so we can get a worm. A wiggly worm! Alright, we've got two worms now. We should be nearing the ocean biome now. And then next time we come here, we'll have a clear route, which is good. Because next time we'll be able to just run over the corruption. So that'll be good. Right. Okay. And then once we actually find this angler, by the way, what we can start doing is we can start going underground. Because once we start going underground... Uh, we can start like finding areas for uh, okay get rid of this we can start finding areas to um to make a uh, little like oceans to to fish in which would be good all right okay jump up it right okay so this is our dungeon which is a very very high dungeon so hopefully it just doesn't trigger skeletron wow that's a really high dungeon that's not a nice dungeon at all this oh my god <laughs> what is up with this so it'd be easier just to let's get rid of this. Let's um, it'd be easier just to rope up there. All right, let's rope up from here. All right, okay. There we go. <laughs> this is the most fluky thing in the world. Oh my god, that's such a weird uh, dungeon thing. I've never had a dungeon like this. Never this severe. Oh my god, that's such a high up dungeon. Wow, we must have a really low world then. Let's have a look on the map. Have we got a re No, we have a pretty standard... Oh, I guess because it dips down there. Doesn't pick up... For That's really weird. That's some really weird... Uh, a real weird... <laughs> some really weird world gen. Look, we're even getting like wooden... Um, wooden chests and such. Wow, got a dungeon key already. Right, let's get rid of that. And these arrows. <laughs> That's weird. That is really, really weird. I'm, I'm proper set back on this. Ah, oh, it's going to take us a lot of rope to get down again as well. But I can hear the ocean music, which is cool. <laughs> at least we got um, at least we got a key. We're not have to worry about getting that first key when we go to the junk, uh, the dungeon. God, it's hard to get my words out today. Ugh. Okay, awesome. Let's come up here. There we go. All right, do we get anything if we destroy these? No, you get no kind of bait from them. Wow, this is such a weird dungeon. It's so weird because it just doesn't even look right at all. Alright, let's put it down here. <laughs> this is going to take a lot of rope. It's alright though, we got this. Do you think this is already going to be the ocean? Do you think there'll be no ground? It'll just be all be ocean. What is going on with this world, Jen? That's so weird. What is up with that? Now let's try catch this bird. All right, you ready? Whoop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is... Oh, my God. I should have um, I should have obviously, like, built a cross, but... I wanted to uh, I wanted to see what was down here, because I thought it looked interesting. Here we go, some really stupidly weird world gen. All right, let's grab them. Let's, for one, let's grab these palm trees. Because that would be good to make a little hut for our little angler. Right. Oh, there's not many palm trees at all. Right, is he going to come swimming along? 
He should theoretically come swimming along the water and you have to go wake him up. But I don't feel like he's going to come. I'm not too sure what the actual requirements for an angler actually is. Is he going to come? Is he anywhere there? There. We've got some glow sticks here. Come on, angler. Wow, I do not want to get caught down there. <laughs> I do not want to be there. Alright, so what do we do here then? What do we do now that we don't have an angler? I say we go fishing, right? Let's go fishing for a little bit. We do actually have more um we do actually have more fishing power now because of this new bait. You gonna bob along? You gonna bob along? Hey, fishing cliche number two. I guess that's why they call it fishing and not catching. <laughs> the fishing cliches are real. Are we not going to get anything? Come on, we had such a good time fishing last time. There we go. We've got trout. I had such a good time fishing last time. We got so many crates and everything. We literally set off to a really good start in the last episode. Are you going to bob along? Hello? Oh, got a red snapper. Hmm, cool. Oh, got a crate. Okay, I'm game for a crate. Right, the more crates that we can get, the better our chances are that we're going to get some early stuff. We need some iron crates, so that's what we need, but I don't think we're going to be able to craft one just yet. We need um, we need some iron bars from the um, wooden crates as well, so that we can actually um, craft a better uh, pole. Ah, oh, line broke. Another red snapper. All these fish, by the way, we can sell. Oh, what was that? A shrimp? I've never seen a shrimp before. I wonder if that's used for cooking. Okay, trout, that's cool. Right, let's grab this crab. Oh, we can't actually grab crab. Oh, God. This is not turning out well. Okay, come on. Oh, my God. Look at them jellyfish coming in. Oh, they move so fast. Uh, uh, heal up. Ah, there we go. We're out in the, we're out the loop. <laughs> that was so weird. That was scary weird, that. Having a crab come up on us. So wait, does this mean the angler's going to spawn on the other side of the world now? Because that would suck. I'm not too sure if you need to build a house for him or something. There we go. Alright, let's open our crate. What do we get? We've got 32 silver. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. We're getting a lot of money as well, which is good. We're getting lots of money. We can obviously use the money we get to buy stuff from merchants and such. So if I went and bought some shuriken, we could probably use that. Because, like, what is fishing if you can't uh, trade with people? That's what it's all about. It's like trading your fish for other stuff. But we're not getting uh, we're not getting many stuff today. It seems like a really slow day for fishing. If only it was raining, your your chances of actually like getting good stuff uh, increases when it's raining and such. All right, okay, we're gonna head back now. I'll take a recall potion. But that was cool because we did get to see um, we got to see one side of the world, and it's weird. It's weird as all hell. So we do have an area now where we can actually go and fish. That's a little bit larger than what we have underneath the house. Which I'm pretty happy about. Let's go see and how. Let's go see what we can actually do with some of the stuff that we've just gotten. So we got some red snappers. We got some shrimps and what else we got? We got some trout. We can obviously sell the trout. Got a penguin we can sell. Got loads of good stuff to sell. But that's about it so far. All right, so let's go and ask this guy over here. Hello, Cole. All right, okay. So red snapper. All right, that can be used for sashimi. Minor improvements to all stats. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. Let's be honest, that's probably worth keeping. And what's this? You can make cooked fish using a cooking pot. Minor improvements to all stats. That's not bad at all. all right, what does shrimp make? Shrimp makes cooked shrimp. Yeah, fair enough. Need a cooking pot for that, though. Uh, squirrel? Nope. Uh, trout. Trout can make cooked fish and sashimi. All right, so we'll sell... I don't know. Come here. We'll sell some stuff. Oh, hello, traveling merchant. Are you got anything good to sell us today? You got any, uh, you got any poles you could sell us? All right, okay, no, you do have some ultra bright torches, some fancy dishes, a red cape. Uh, we don't need any of that. Actually, we'll sell you some stuff, buddy. Uh, we'll sell you some shrimp. 
Red Snapper, and I'll sell you... I'll keep four trout for myself, and I'll sell the penguin, the goldfish, the squirrel, and a bird. And that'll do. Oh no, a bunny. We'll sell you a bunny as well. Alright, okay, the gold's looking good. Six gold. Oh yeah. Alright, so I'm going to quickly go check what the requirements are for an angler. I don't want to uh, mislead anyone. We're going to put our money in the nature chest. Alright, let's go check what the angler needs. Okay, so you actually need a house for your angler, and that makes a lot of sense, to be honest, doesn't it? So, let's build another room. Now, people said they wanted me to actually include building, and I'm kind of happy to do that. I just, I can't think where to build another room. i tell you what, actually. Um, should we be cheeky and just build another room here? <laughs> like this. Is that bad? That's really bad. <laughs> uh, let's put a workbench and a chair. There we go. And let's make a door. Right, where are doors? Alright, let's make a door. Put down a door. This needs a light source now because it doesn't have one anymore. So we'll give that a light source there. Alright, so is this now a suitable house? This housing is suitable. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk back to the ocean. Which I'll jump cut ahead just for you guys. Oh, Oh, gold butterfly. Awesome. How much do you sell for? Ten gold. Awesome. That's bloody awesome. Okay, cool. All right, we've got more money now, so let's put that in the nature chest. So I'm going to skip ahead for you guys um, this little bit of walking back to the ocean, and we'll see if the angler spawns in, which he should do. I feel like he will. So before I set off, I actually did what I was said I was going to do, and I traded some of our money for some shuriken, so I should be protected now on the way, which is good. Oh, a squirrel. Well, we'll take it, and we'll take you. Okay, I'm here, and the angler's here, too. All right, guys, okay, wake him up. You've saved me. You're awfully nice. I could use, uh, I mean, totally hire you to do some awesome stuff for me. Okay, what's our first quest, then, sir? What's white and tan and fluffy and lives in a frozen underground lake? A mutant flin fin. I wasn't telling a joke. You know, the really are mutated varieties of flicks that's more adaptable to aquatic lifestyle. I want it to adapt to my fishbowl. To make sure it happens. Caught in the underground tundra. Underground tundra? Oh, what on earth is the tundra? What even, what even is that? Let me read that again. I imagine it's... I, I, I'm pretty, <laughs> Grayson wants you as the official <laughs> uh, fisherman's net errand monkey. Yeah, so... I'm, I'm, guessing it, I'm guessing it's just underground ice biome. Yeah, and a frozen underground lake. Right, okay, so we need to go to the ice biome. That is our first quest, people. All right, damn, let's go back. He should come to live in our house now, which is good. Um, all right, so let's look on the map. Whoa, the map is weird. Oh, it's got that map issue. Damn it, 1.3. It's got the map issue. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-log out the game, re-log in so we can actually use our map properly. Ugh. Okay, so to start getting to the underground ice biome, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dig down here. Now that's because this is all underground corruption. So hopefully if I dig under here, we should be under a snow biome, maybe. I know that the biomes can either go like multiple different ways, but I know that the snow biome is pretty big. So we'll probably be able to get to a point of it where it's not corrupt and it's just snow biome. And once we do that, obviously what we can do is we can um, start basically... Um, Start looking for this fish, which sounds pretty awesome. I'm really excited to do this. So what, I'm to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start mining there now. And then once that's done, what we'll do is we'll head there. And hopefully find something cool. So I'm going to skip out this mining for now because it's probably going to get a little bit boring. Okay, so I found this area here, which is just on the map here. Um, which is technically underground. It's ice biome. But if you walk over here like this... It turns into a corrupt ice biome, so I want to see if it works for actual questing if I stand here. And then what we can do is we can use the other side for basically a corrupt ice thingy. Yeah, sure. Alright, so hopefully this works. I'm not sure if the pond is big enough. I feel like it is because it's more than 75 blocks. This may take a while. Uh, I've got no catch there. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Uh, let's try and extend this, maybe extend this down a little bit. Just to kind of make it a little bit seem a little bit more like, I don't know, like an ocean, if you get me. But to my understanding, this is like good criteria for, um, for an ice biome area, I guess. 
Right, let's get rid of some of this palm wood. Because we're not going to use palm wood anyway, because we're not going to make that shack, because our guy's already living in a house. Alright, so let's do this then. Let's give this a try. Alright, are we going to see any results? I don't feel like we are. I feel like, uh, hopefully the quest hasn't changed, because a quest is a daily thing, isn't it? Uh, we've got a stink fish then. Because the quest is a daily thing, so hopefully it's not reset. Oh, an, Atlant an Atlantic cod. So I definitely think this is a nice uh, specular fish. Alright, so we're getting more stuff than we did before. Specular fish. Oh, we're going to get anything? Another specular fish. I feel like you can sell specular fish. Oh, line broke then. Alright, got a bass there. Got an Atlantic cod. Armoured cave fish. Oh, they're, the, they're used for... Um, well, I'll get rid of this iron. They're used for um, the, um, the endurance potions, I think. I think it's endurance. So they're good to have. Okay, that was a bass. So I feel like this is a good fishing area. I feel like the quest has reset itself, though. I don't know. What we can do is we can always go to the surface and go check. But yeah, the good thing about this is, is if I move over to here, uh, if I continue this onwards, if I build a few more platforms, what we can do is we can actually fish on this area here. And then now it's a corrupt ice uh, water area. So we've got an old shoe there, which is basically tap. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, line broke. What are we going to get this time? Line broke again. Why does my line keep breaking? Ooh, got a specular fish there. So it doesn't seem to be any kind of biome changes there. I feel like it's going to take longer fishing now because we've been here a while. Oh, awesome. we got some seaweed. <laughs> yeah, we got some seaweed. That's brilliant. I thought it was the uh, frog legs for a second, but then again, I don't think you can get frog legs from where we are right now. We're just getting specular fish, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe corrupt ice, uh, corrupt ice biome pools aren't really a thing. Maybe? I don't know. Alright, okay, let's go back to the surface. Let's find a way up again. Let's go see that the quest is the same, so I'm not going completely bonkers. And, uh, yeah. Alright, okay, let's uh, build up here. The actual, the actual area down here wasn't too bad to get to. It was literally just kind of, it's kind of a simple path down, really. Which makes me happy, because next time we can actually come back here, like, quite easily. Right, let's make sure I'm building in a in a semi-even way so that when we come down here we don't get mad fall damage. I should probably build a little bit more. Okay, cool. Alright, so that is done. Alright, so let's go speak to our angler real quick because he should be up here. Alright, buddy. Uh, can you tell us about that quest again? Alright, ah, so yeah, the quest has changed. Which would explain why we weren't getting the quest item. I found a jungle cat like these waters. Uh, I think it's because it's only part fish. I don't know why this happened, and I don't want to know. I just want it in my hands and make it snappy. All right, so what we can do is tomorrow we can start actually go looking for that. We do have a little another pond now, so if we get another one in the ice biome, we have it, right? And that's what this is all about. It's all about building up that uh, building up that area of ponds. Alright, so thank you all for watching, my name is James, make sure to check back tomorrow for episode 3, and if this is the first video you've seen, make sure to click that subscribe button. By clicking that button, you'll be informed with all the latest Terraria videos straight to your homepage, and this includes Let's Plays, playthroughs, news, uh, and many more things. So thank you all for watching, my name is James, peace.